Well, it was a crash caused by a drunk Uber driver in Douglas County. He injured his passenger and the man driving an SUV that he slammed into. On top of that, he was a repeat offender, but he won't be spending any more time in jail. And that is one of his victims asking if something needs to change. Stan Bush talked with that man tonight. Stan, you expect a safe ride with Uber, but that certainly wasn't the case here. And Jim, with all the bad headlines about Uber, this one really struck a nerve. A driver so drunk he could barely stand and a crash that could have been fatal. If it wasn't for the SUV Carl Gopsel was driving, he says he'd probably be dead. He remembers it clearly. A head-on crash by an Uber driver going 45 miles an hour. He saw two scared people just above a set of headlights and had no time to react. Maybe a microsecond, enough to see that two big sets of eyes in the other car. The driver, 44-year-old Brian Haas, had a .228 blood alcohol level, nearly three times the legal limit. But after 65 days served in jail, his sentence won't require any additional time behind bars. I don't think it's acceptable. Injure people, change people's lives, and basically get nothing for it. Prosecutors wanted Haas to serve six years in prison, citing two separate DWAIs from more than 20 years ago as aggravating factors in the incident. The judge opted for three years of community service and time already served. Does something need to change here? It seems to me by the, if you have three DUIs, there should be a mandatory sentence. For Gopsel, the pain of that night continues. He has nerve damage from the accident and has seen doctors more than 50 times since. He's disappointed with the driver, but also thinks Uber should be held accountable. They should. I mean, you should have insured drivers if you're going to drive somebody. Now, last year, the state legislature did pass tougher DUI laws, closing some loopholes and requiring jail time for a third misdemeanor DUI. But some clearly believe that that law is still too lax. We're live tonight in Denver. Stan Bush covering Colorado first. Thank you, Stan.